Today in Karoo, a very special passenger will be sitting on board the Ariane 5 launcher, MIASAT 3D. This satellite will be launched into geostationary orbit at 36,000 kilometers above our heads to join the rest of the MIASAT fleet. The Malaysian operator chose the European company Airbus Defence and Space to build the youngest offspring in its fleet. The first time Airbus worked with MIASAT was for MIASAT 3B, which was launched in September 2014. I'm pleased to say the satellite is doing very well and Airbus is very happy to be giving birth to a second bird less than eight years after. We hope that the family will grow again in the next few years. Using its powerful C and KU band, the payload will be able to deliver direct-to-home television in HD, 4K and even 8K throughout Asia, Australia, Africa and Southern Europe. Thanks to its powerful KA band, the satellite will also be able to provide internet services to populations so far unserved and underserved to close the digital divide in Malaysia. It is not just a new satellite project for Miasat, but it is a national important project to close the digital divide in Malaysia, allowing us to expand the rural connectivity from the existing 3,000 sites to 10,000 sites and upgrading the internet speed from 30 megabit per second today to 100 megabit per second. With this new satellite, MIASAT will be able to bring high-speed connectivity to more people living in remote areas in Malaysia, thus helping millions of people gain access to internet. MIASAT is proud to support the Malaysian Government Jendela Initiative, which is the country national digital infrastructure plan to connect the unconnected to provide 100% internet coverage to the nation by 2025. Yet this passenger is full of surprises. Sitting next to it in Ariane 5's fairing, a hosted payload has been integrated by Airbus for the benefits of KTSAT, a South Korean operator. This L-band payload will be part of the national system called CAS, providing accurate location information within several meters. We designed and built, built a very, very innovative hosted payload for KTSAT for the Korea Augmentation Satellite System, which is called CAS, designed to significantly enhance air traffic management in South Korea. Bon voyage, Miasat. Miasat 3D and its 5,734 kilograms of advanced technologies has been designed to fulfill its mission for more than 18 years. <laughs>